In the name of Allah, the compassionate and the merciful. Hello guys, in this video, we are going to have a pushover analysis of steel section cantilever beam with semi-rigid connection in MATLAB and Abacus. Actually, we model it in our numerical methods of modeling of the semi-rigid connection in MATLAB and then we are going to verify our numerical method with Abacus uh, and check it in Abacus too. So as you see, uh, we, have, we have a very simple cantilever beam as you see with the 6 degree of freedom but actually just five degree, uh, just 4 degree of freedom is uh, realist and in degree of freedom number 3 we have a semi rigid uh, connection with nonlinear behavior nonlinear behavior is uh, shown in here with the uh, moment rotation relation of this uh, semi rigid connection and uh, moment uh, relation and stiffness uh, relation is shown and uh, uh, for modeling in MATLAB uh, we use these uh, parameters uh, as a length of beam applied loads initial uh, displacement in degree of freedom number five uh, maximum displacement for checking our analysis and uh, section properties uh, still, uh, section properties uh, such as yield strain ultimate strain modular elasticity yield uh, strain ultimate strain uh, moment inertia uh, flexor rigidity actual rigidity connection behavior as a angle section uh, and uh, uh, shape factors and uh, let's see uh, number of calculation iterations uh, number of iterations tolerance uh, for our converge parameters and a stiffness uh, mm, a stiffness matrix parameters is uh, shown and uh, let's see our programming uh, you see that in here all data is uh, defined and uh, Yes, in here uh, we are going to define the elastic slope of rotation of spring, uh, plastic slope of uh, rotation of spring, uh, and uh, in here our nonlinear analysis started with incremental displacement. You see that uh, in each step uh, displacement is increased, and in uh, each step. Uh, uh, Nonlinear uh, equation is going to be solved, uh, and you see that in here, if it is not converged, the analysis is stopped in each uh, increment, and if it is uh, converged uh, with the, uh, and find the best solution, so it shows that the in, uh, in, in increment, uh, for example, number. 10 uh, we converge with uh, 12 iterations for example and uh, if the displacement uh, in uh, degree uh, freedom number 5 reach to ultimate uh, rotation so the analysis is stopped and goes out uh, and analysis is finished in each step actual uh, internal forces is calculated and uh, yes uh, at the last, we are going to output our um, mm, result as a rotation of uh, each uh, four degree of freedom, and uh, you see that uh, yes, and uh, our abacus model output is comes in here for uh, base shear and displacement of this analysis and. Uh, no, and now we are going to plot all uh, data. You see that, for example, in here, in uh, Figure Three, you see the moment rotation relation of uh, my MATLAB uh, modeling, uh, and for this angle relation, and then uh, base shear and displacement of my MATLAB as an analysis and ab abacus as a red line. 
it shows that it is very same and uh, uh, both modeling is uh, correct so if we want to show you the uh, abacus modeling uh, mm, definition let's see uh, yes in here um, we have a uh, at the first we define the ma materials uh, elastic properties uh, such as model of elasticity and uh, uh, Poisson ratios and then in here uh, uh, plastic um, behavior of uh, material properties of uh, this uh, steel section and uh, even angle section you see that this is defined in here and uh, uh, for defining each material's uh, thickness as you see it is defined in here uh, and uh, yes you see that the this property is, is defined for both a flange web and a semi rigid as a angle uh, section i mean this and let's see the other uh, analysis step is defined in here and uh, we are going to uh, restrain this uh, angle section and as you see all degree of freedom is uh, unreal is you see that and uh, you see that uh, we defined in this degree of freedom the incremental displacement you see that in here and uh, let's see uh, we mesh it with the quad dominated as a free and uh, let's see and uh, after analysis we shows the uh, one misses uh, stress of this uh, cantilever uh, with semi rigid connection as you see we have a uh, maximum uh, stress this in this angle section and uh, you see that uh, in these parameters uh, in this uh, figure uh, we output our force and displacement and uh, yes uh, and the uh, deformation shape of this cantilever uh, beam with the synergic connection is shown and that's all so uh, you see that uh, in this picture uh, my modeling of in MATLAB and Abacus is absolutely the same but the, the, in, this, uh, in, this, in, this, in this point uh, the answer is uh, a little different so you see that in all points uh, the result as this is the same so it shows that in my modeling uh, in MATLAB uh, answers uh, and solution is uh, absolutely right so thanks a lot guys i'd be glad to know your opinions about my modeling bye